Alright, so we are now on the third part of our discussion for the first law of thermodynamics. And this time, we will be solving problems from uh, thermodynamics and engineering approach 8th edition by Sengel. Okay, we will be solving problem 2-39 okay, and problem 2-40. So obviously, we will be applying the first law of thermodynamic which states that energy cannot be created nor destroyed but can be transferred from one form to another okay we will begin with this easy problem before we proceed with other related problems dito sa ating topic okay so let us now proceed in solving these problems so let us begin with our first problem here so this is problem 2-39 from thermodynamics and engineering approach 8th edition by Sengel no? so let us read our first problem water is being heated in a closed pan on top of a range while being steered by a paddle wheel during the process 30 kilojoules of heat is transferred to the water and 5 kilojoules of heat is lost to the surrounding air the paddle wheel work amounts to 500 newton meter Determine the final energy of the system if its initial energy is 10 kilojoule. So as you can see, we already have an answer in here which is 35.5 kilojoule. So, ang wala na lang sa atin is the solution. Paano natin nakuha itong answer na 35.5 kilojoule? So we're going to answer that now in our video. So first, let us illustrate our condition. So we have a closed pan. Let me say this is our closed pan. Okay. And it contains water, no? And it is being heated while being steered by a paddle wheel, okay? So let's say this is our water just for illustration. Okay, and then we have our paddle wheel. So let's say this is our paddle wheel. And of course, heat is... Uh, being added no so we have heat in here so obviously our system here is this one our water inside our closed um, pan okay so we are told that during the process there are 30 kilojoules of heat transferred to the water okay so there is heat going in and it is equal to 30 kilojoules Then, at the same time, 5 kilojoules of heat is lost to the surrounding air. So, we have heat going out. And that is equal to 5 kilojoules. Now, we have a paddle wheel here. And we are told that the paddle wheel work amounts to 500 newton meters. So, therefore, the work is being done to our system. So, therefore, work is going into our system so we have work going in and that is equal to 500 newton meters okay so how are we going to solve this problem so we should remember that the first law of thermodynamic states that energy cannot be created nor destroyed so it can just be transferred from one form to another form right so therefore we have our change in energy in our system is equal to energy going in minus energy going out. Okay, so ito yung magiging basis natin in our calculation. Okay, so we need to determine the final energy of the system if its initial energy is 10 kilojoules. So therefore, uh, we have a given in which our internal energy at the beginning is equal to 10 kilojoule. Okay, so we have to balance our energy dito sa ating system. So we have our internal energy which is also equal to the change on the internal energy U2 minus U1. This is equal to, okay, so sa lahat ng ating mga energy that is involved, in our system so we have heat going in so we have heat going in we also have heat going out so minus q out and then we have work going in so we have w 
in. Okay, so basically, ito lang naman yung magiging uh, equation na, na gagamitin natin in order to solve this problem. So, let us substitute our values. So, we have our energy at the end of the process, okay, the final energy, minus um, our initial energy, and it is given as 10 kilojoule. So, we have 10 kilojoule. This is equal to our heat going in, and we are told that heat is going in by 30 kilojoule, minus the heat going out. So, since this is going out, kaya negative ang ating heat. So, we have 5 kilojoule. Then, our work going in. So, it is going in. Therefore, the work is done by the surrounding. So, we have positive sign here. And this is equal to 500 newton meter. Okay. So, since everything is in kilojoule, so therefore, we have to convert this into kilojoule. So, 1 newton meter is equal to 1 joule. Then, we have 1,000 joule for every, for every 1 kilo joule. So, our signs will be cancelled out. Newton meter will be cancelled out. Joules will be cancelled out. So, lahat ng ating unit are now in kilo joule. Okay, so our U2 is equal to, we're going to transpose 10 kilo joule to the right side of our equation. So, we have 30 kilo joule. Minus 5 kilojoule plus 500 divided by 1000. So, we have 0 0.5 kilojoule. And then, our initial energy, which is 10 kilojoule, will be 5 uh, plus 10 kilojoule. So, therefore, okay, so we have 30 kilojoule minus 5 kilojoule. So, we have 25 kilojoule plus 0.5 kilojoule, so we have 25.5 kilojoule, plus 10 kilojoule, so we have 35.5 kilojoule. So this is our final answer to our first question, which is the final energy of the system, okay, which is 35.5 kilojoule. So we got the right answer in here. So let us go to the next problem, which is... 2-40E from the same book. Okay, so let me read. A vertical piston cylinder device contains water and is being heated on top of a range. During the process, 65 BTU of heat is transferred to the water and heat losses from the side walls amount to 8 BTU. The piston rises as a result of evaporation and 5 BTU of work is done by the vapor. Determine the change in the energy of the water for this process. Okay, so let me again draw our system. So, katulad nung first problem natin, we already have an answer here. Kailangan na lang natin makita how did we arrive to this answer. No? So, yung answer na yan, given na dito sa ating book. So, we have a vertical piston cylinder. So, let's say this is our cylinder. Okay. And then, the device contains water. Okay. So, let's say this is our water. And it is being heated. Okay. So, katulad nung ating first problem. Alright. So, during the process, 65 BTU of heat is transferred to the water. So, Heat is going in. Okay, so Q in is equal to 65 BTU. And heat losses from the side walls amount to 8 BTU. So we also have heat going out, which is equal to 8 BTU. Okay, now the piston rises as a result of evaporation. So, itong piston natin, it rises up because of the evaporation. That means, it is producing work. Okay? So, that is why it's mentioned here, work is done by the vapor, which is equal to 5 BTU. So, on this case, the work is being done by our system. So, therefore, our work is going out. 
Okay? So, W out is equal to 5 BTU. Now, we have to determine the change in the energy of the water for this process. And the answer is 52 BTU. Okay, the same as what we did on the first problem, we are now going to apply the first law of thermodynamics which states that energy cannot be created or destroyed but can be transferred from one form to another. So therefore, there will be no loss in our energy here. Okay, so we have our energy is equal to energy in minus energy out. Okay, so our internal energy or the change in internal energy will be equal to the heat going in minus the heat going out. And then our work which is also going out, we have work going out. Right? So our change in internal energy will be equal to the heat going in which is 65 BTU minus the heat going out which is 8 BTU and then minus our work going out which is 5 BTU. Alright? So our change in internal energy will be equal to 65 minus 8 BTU will be 57 BTU minus 5 BTU will be 52 BTU. So this will be our change in our internal energy, right? Okay, and this is our final answer for this problem. So we will be solving more problems in the first law of thermodynamics in our succeeding video. So with all of that and more, I will see you in our next video. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ia-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.